Yeah. And then in contrast, what do you not like most? What do you hate about? If there's something you hate about your job or the industry or something to that effect? Um, I mean, as far as hating my job, I really don't. I mean, I wish it was different, but it's not. You know, I wish it was, you know, I wish I had the, the lawyer job where I didn't have to ranch and smash my, you know, fingers and, you know, breathe uh, welding fumes in. But um, the uh, thing I hate about the industry is 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 people are in it for the wrong thing or they get this whole attitude that, you know, um, they're better than everybody else or they're the, they're the you know, like they're, they're, they're the drive behind this industry when it's existed a lot longer than them. Hey, it's, it's easier to blend in and stick out. You know, it's, e it's easier to be a part of and respect it than try and say, hey, I'm better than the rest of the people that I just joined. You know, and I think that's where, you know, and, and all the stuff being made overseas and, you know, nobody making their stuff here anymore, you know, as far as motorcycles. I mean, these catalogs are full, full of, you know, China and Korean and Taiwan parts that are going on American motorcycles. To me, that's, you know, bring it back here. It's where it belongs. And if you're so a part of and, you know, so possessive about being the best, Bring it back to where we need it the most, you know, being here in our backyard. And that's 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 the that's the piss off with me right now. Is that? Daddy, do so. Go, go, come on, phone, go, go. Come on, Someone. come on, go over there. And then, um, what, like what you got coming up? You've done two biker build offs, mm -hmm. and then um. Yeah, I guess you were mentioning something about being on the Jesse James, something with Jesse James coming out before. Yeah, Jesse's doing a new show called um, Jesse James is a Dead Man. I spoke to him about doing some stuff with him. Um, they just hit me up for the Sons of Anarchy for the second time. The first time I told them no, but this time I got some friends that are are are, are um, actually going to be a, be, in it, be in it too. So I feel a little bit more comfortable. What is the Sons of Anarchy? It's a some. Sh a sense of anarchy is some show that comes on about biker, the biker world. Um, in the beginning, I didn't want to be a part of it. And then they hit me up just uh, a couple of days ago if I wanted to uh, do a do a stand and bring one of my bikes and actually ride on it. Well, who's going to be in it? And you know, anybody else would jump at the opportunity, but I, don't, I you know, I, I don't, I don't want to be the guy that re regrets something that I did that looks stupid and lame, you know. But again, you know, you know, if, if, if you know, a few of my friends are going to be a part of it, you know, I mean, I, I don't mind supporting. But to me, I, I, I don't, I don't really dig television. It's just, it's just not me. Um, some of it's cool though, but I mean, I just think that whole vibe that they're trying to represent isn't isn't really cool, you know. But um, other things I got coming up, not much, man. It's been pretty, it's been pretty dead. I mean, but. You know, God willing, hopefully it picks up and there's some things that come my way. You know? Are you still making, like, your shirts or sick? I still wear like, <laughs> all of them. you still have any more, custom, like, super company shirts and stuff? Yeah, like that, we, we still do a little bit. I'm, 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 I tore my website down. I'm redoing my whole website. I'm adding a store to it. I'm doing belt buckles. I'm doing little things here and there. It just got so, so saturated with people. Like, you know, like you said, the industry. Yeah. It just got so saturated where everybody was just, you know, just jumping on this whole bandwagon thing, not just because of bikes, but the low riding, the customizing, and it was just flooding. Now, economy's bad, and the people that quit their day jobs to do stuff like this, who didn't really belong here, have to go back out and get their day jobs, but I'm still stuck, so I'm like, all right, cool, it's an opportunity for me to produce some stuff again. Sure. But I, I got so burnt out on it, I was just like, man, I'm, I told you know, I told my old lady, I'm like, hey, you know what, this, this isn't working out right now. I'm, I'm going to take a break. And I did, and it felt good. You know, worked on the house, did some traveling, and, you know, it felt good. Felt some good. other things. Yeah, you know, get your mind off things, you know. And that's definitely cool, but, I mean, one good thing about this whole economy thing is, um, like, the cream rises to the top, and so, like, how you're saying, even in your industry, the guys that are doing it from the heart, mm -hmm. like you said, all the poses that come in for a minute, when it comes down to it, like, it's who's really, like, they're going to spend their dollar, they want the person, you know, that, yeah, that is doing sure. it, and, and the reputation and stuff, so at least, yeah. that's kind of... Uh, yeah. Separating the men from the boys, I exactly. guess. You know? Exactly. You know, there's people that jumped into this industry, man. They didn't bring lifeboats or 
life preserves and they're drowning right now, you know? They didn't, they didn't learn how to swim before they, <laughs> now their boat's sinking and they don't know what to do, they're panicking, you know? And, and God bless them, you know, I don't wish bad upon anybody, you know? You know, just on a whole spiritual trip, that's just not me, but, you know, I mean, really think it over before you, you know, you step into something where you're like, okay, I'm gonna quit my city job or I'm getting X amount of dollars plus benefits to jump into something where, yeah, it's hot right now, well, who knows in a year from now? Who knows tomorrow, you know? And it wasn't really bikes that collapsed, it was a whole economy that collapsed. You know, everything collapsed. You know, usually you say it's, it's a bike fad or it's a, you know, a fighting fad or whatever the fad is, you know? This time it's just this whole thing crumbled and, you know, it's got a lot of people, you know, worried, but let's say God willing, I'm gonna go through.